Hi everyone and welcome to Nico's Kitchen's What You Want Wednesday. Today's recipe request comes in from the YouTube user Moni Jacobs and they've asked me to make one of the world's most famous puddings, Spotted Dick. He's got budget meal Mondays, what you want Wednesdays, fast food Fridays, what else could he share? It's Nico's Kitchen where satisfying meals are prepared. So guys, the first thing that we're going to do to get started on our Spotted Dick, just into a bowl and a sifter, I'm going to add in our self-raising flour. Now if you don't have self-raising flour, just use normal flour with some baking powder added. And just sift that through. Next I'm going to add in some breadcrumbs. I'm also going to be adding in some sugar. I'm also going to be adding in some mixed dried fruit and in here are some sultanas, some currants, some raisins, some mixed peel and some glacé cherries and just add them straight in. And now for our liquid mixture guys, I'm going to be adding in some milk and I've just put an egg into the milk as well and just mix that up. Now guys, the next part is where my recipe differs a lot from traditional spotted dick recipes and this is the one that I grew up with as a kid. Instead of putting suet, which is a beef lard, I'm just putting in a pork lard and that's just the way I've grown up with it. So if you want to use the suet, which comes in almost like grated pellets, uh, then you can find that in your supermarket and use them if you want to because that is the traditional way. However here I'm using some melted lard which is essentially pork fat and just add that straight in. It's not a lot but it just keeps everything really really moist when we steam our pudding. And just grab a spoon and just mix all those ingredients together and guys this is what you're after just like a dough. Now guys, I've just got some ramekins here and I've buttered them on the outside so the mixture doesn't stick. Just grab some of the mixture and put it straight in the ramekin and just press it down lightly and you want to go up about that way because it will rise a little as well. Now guys, there's a couple of ways you can do this. I used to do this in the oven on a baking tray and I used to put the ramekins on a baking tray and fill up the water halfway. But now we've got these steamers and they've been around for many, many years. It is the best way of doing it. So I've got some water just in the bottom of the pan. I've got the steamer on the top and I'm gonna place our ramekins inside the steamer just like that. Now guys, you wanna put the lid on and you want to steam these for about 30 to 35 minutes. If you were doing it in the oven on a baking tray with the water, you would wanna cook these for about an hour. So guys, I've just turned the heat off our steamer. I'm going to lift the lid and you can see there it's nice and spongy and that's what you're after with your spotted dick. You want some resistance as you push it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a knife, run it around the edge and we're going to tip out our spotted dick into a bowl. So guys, it wouldn't be a spotted dick without some custard served with it. So just around the edges, I'm just going to pour in some custard. So there you have it guys, my version of a spotted dick. And uh, I know it's not the traditional in a sense, like I said before, it's just my interpretation of it and the way that uh, I watch people cook it for me when I was a kid. So while it's still warm of course, we want to eat it up, so let's get stuck in. And, oh yeah, the spoon should just go straight through it. Even though it's a steamed pudding, it should still be nice and light. Get some of that custard, and let's get stuck in. <laughs> it really takes me back to when I was a kid, and I had my mum and my nana make this for me. Just beautiful. It really, really is. And just soul food, comfort food, at its very best. If you'd like to have some spotted dick in your mouth, give this one a go, guys. All the ingredients are below, so check it out. And do give it a go. Jokes aside, and the name aside, uh, it is a fantastic dish, and uh, it really is very tasty. So all the ingredients are below. Like I said, you guys take care, and I will see you this Friday for Fast Food Friday. So until then, take care.